Now, Mitz is also, I don't think your mind minds me telling you this, 90 years old, man, looking this good. One of the reasons why, he follows what he preaches. He practices what he preaches as far as nutrition, exercise, and just a, a complete regimen of health. Mitch, give us some nutrition tips. Uh, number one, be sure you eat your natural foods. And that means vegetables and fruit, which a lot of people don't like. But it's not what you like, it's what your body needs. You have to furnish it to maintain health. Number three, your mental, mental power. You have to use your mental power to look all to the positive side, not to the negative. When you go to the negative, the whole system runs down because you're going against nature. And you can't go against nature. You've got to go along with nature. And uh, yeah, of course, I believe in eating eggs. Everybody said don't eat the yolk. Well, I don't believe in that. I've been eating yolks ever since I started eating eggs. And that's no yolk. Yeah, there's no yolk about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. i, I got to remember that. <laughs> but uh, I know that uh, a lot of people throw me the yolk. There's cholesterol. Well, you know, you need cholesterol. We, uh, the male needs uh, cholesterol to build the testosterone. Uh, and that makes the women happy. Oh, excuse me. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As you can <laughs> but, see, Mitch has quite a humor as well. <laughs> no, but I, I really think that the people have to learn to eat the proper foods and eat it regularly, not just when they feel like it. The regular uh, nutritional uh, eating is a lot better for health than do it once in a while and then just go off of it. So I think that the, uh, nutrition is number one. Number two, exercise. And that involves bodybuilding or anything, swimming. It doesn't have to be bodybuilding, you know? You don't have to use weights. You go on the ocean, you can swim. You swim a mile a day, oh, that's fantastic exercise. But some form of exercise. Exactly, any type. I, I don't believe in running too much because your body is hitting the ground very hard and your spinal column takes that beating and also the joints beat each other. So eventually something's gonna snap. So that's interesting, Mitch. So a guy walks in the gym, yes. overweight, has no idea what to do wants to train what do you yeah. suggest number one stop eating too much stop eating too much All number right. two stop eating the wrong foods okay number three exercise and that's all you need and drink plenty of water to flush out the toxins and a lot of people don't drink enough water see so they get all dried up inside that's bad news because all the toxins stay in the body create havoc to the organs now Mitz, i know obviously arnold's probably the most inspirational figure from bodybuilding standpoint yes that you've uh, encountered in life Tell us some of the more interesting stories that you have, whether they be in bodybuilding or outside of bodybuilding, some things that possibly inspired you along the way. Well, I attended uh, Arlo's inaugural address, mm -hmm. and there's one thing I admire when he, when he said this. He says, I don't owe anybody nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm my own man. I make my own decisions. How many politicians can say that? <laughs> Not none. Too Not too many. Not too many. I'd say none. Yeah. And because a lot, a lot of interest money out there. Exactly. They get paid off and then do it. But, but Arnold was not like that. And he said that the whole audience, 8,000 people stood up and clapped. You don't see that very many in Nogra. He didn't just, call them all girly men or anything? He just got yeah. <laughs> Well, I tell you, yeah. he had the right to say that because those guys didn't have the guts yeah. to do what they're supposed to do. Correct. See, they follow the sheep. Like one sheep tells them to do this and then pushes out all the uh, cash, you know? And it's a funny thing. Politics is all like that. It's all money, you know? But I don't think money is the main thing in life. I think taking care of the human body on earth is number one. You can't buy health. I you mean, can't you can, buy you can it. Take care of yourself. Right. Can't guarantee yourself health. No, you've got to work for it. You've got to earn it. Yeah. You have to earn it, yes.